Okay, this is the uh, horizontal section. This is the one part of the office part. And, uh, it's where I make the these. We're supposed to cut these windows out, but I'm a, I believe I'm going to leave the uh, door here in. I'm going to fill this in. I'm not going to cut this out. Uh, but you cut this part right here off. And you can see here where I cut out the windows and put the window frames in. And this part of the office section of the warehouse. Just that simple. Just using these uh, floral sticks. That's the horizontal section. All I do is cut out the uh, uh, the two window doors and fix the window for this other side. Okay, you can see here where I cut out the back part and put it in the windows on both of these sections. Here's one I haven't cut the windows or the door out yet. And see how simple you can either paint this or leave this as is for your interior wall. Okay, here's the uh, main warehouse where I use the floral stick to make uh, vertical siding. I haven't put it in the doors yet. I'm going to have to cut these out too. Uh, this is this part right here. You won't see it all. I probably leave that open. You can actually you actually can do this on your original on your uh, if any of the other buildings you decide to make. You can leave uh, sections like this out open on you if you want a, a real old looking uh, structure. Uh. Okay, here is a uh, water tank. An old scale water tank. It's also made of cardboard and wood. And the bottom, the feet are plastics. Uh, supposed to be simulating, uh, I guess, concrete uh, footings. I'm going to have to rebuild it. Uh, you see some of the parts of them broke loose on it. It's all print. This is printed cardboard. These are cardboard sections here. This is wood and this is plastic. This is also printed cardboard. The roof is printed cardboard and the, the tank itself is printed cardboard. The in, inside pieces are printed cardboard also and the rest is wood. You take a good look at it. Okay, I got all my windows and doors in. Uh, this is a uh, sliding door. It opens either both directions on this one, and this is a one that opens inwards on this door here. Um, I use a real thin piece of wood that was used for making doll houses. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, this is a probably a thirty thousand thirty thousandths of an inch zero uh, three zero. Three thousandths of an inch, I believe. It's birch that I use for a doll making doll house uh, siding with. Okay, here's my decking or the platform that goes onto the center central warehouse. Um, you notice the way I attach the wood here on this side. Uh, the lattice work, the angle work cutting I put on the side for the two different. Uh, platform that's on the rear end, it's on the front of the building. Okay, I'm going to take these uh, floral sticks and use them as bracing uh, and the end bracing on for the other opposite side. Also making up uh, where I'm going to put the pillars at to hold the pillars in. I asked them to use this for the back of the building, hold it as a back bracing to the towards the building itself with using the popsicle sticks. Okay, this is the uh, decking for the office. You see where I use the uh, pop the popsicle sticks as for the decking itself and the uh, floral sticks as a bracing. I like to do two different colors. I'm not going to stain this. I'll let the uh, guy who uh, was going to buy the building stain the uh, decking or the color that he wants it. I believe he likes the green. 
but he wants to choose the type of stain he, for the decking itself. Okay, here's the uh, rear platform. You see where I put in the uh, popsicle, the popsicle sticks. Well, how to use the popsicle sticks on the back end here? This goes up against the building. Uh, see where I use the floral sticks. Now I use a lot of weight on these type type of things because the uh, these boards will warp on you. Uh, this is not the what I call a good craft sticks or popsicle sticks. You got to find something much better than this. These warp real easy, so you got to keep a lot of weight on them to keep them flat. Well, see, they'll warp on you pretty easy. I'm going to put more bracing across here and off the other side before I put the pillars on. Pillars in.